the Redmi Note 13 comes with $207,000 or $163, packed with 6GB of RAM and 128GB internal storage. It comes with decent space for the price, but it is worth buying. Well, let's find out. Take a look at the design. The back is built with plastic material filled with glass. Not even that, moving to the right hand side, you will see the power button and volume up and down rocker key. This time around, the Redmi Note 13 doesn't come with side matter fingerprint. Instead of that, it comes with optical fingerprint scanner under the display. Starting with what you get inside the box, it comes with a paperwork, the SIM rejector 2, 33 watt fast charger, a USB Type C cable, and a TPU case. This is all you get in the box. Another aspect where this phone impressed me is that it supports IPS 54 dust and water resistance with screen resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution and support of 120Hz refresh rate with AMOLED display. Now what is it like to watch content on this display? With the dual stereo speakers and the size of the display, watching content on this smartphone is a massive. The display has a brightness of 1800 nits that makes it easy for you to use it under the red sunlight. Well, that is incredible. Let's talk about other things. You get a flat size design flatter than last year with the rounded edges similar to last year design you will also get to see a hybrid sim thread position at the bottom alongside of the matte piece opening and down firing speaker and the top has is a secondary speaker and a secondary microphone 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gb internal storage is what you're gonna get in the redmi note 13. imagine my experience was great everyday tax Slack opening apps, switching between them, scrolling on social media, gaming. This phone has no issue handling them. As for the processor, for this variant with the Redmi Note 13, which comes with the Snapdragon 680 processor, there is another one with the Diamond City 6080, which is the 5G variant. What I have here is 680 from Snapdragon, which is the 4G variant of the Redmi Note 13. So please, if you're enjoying this video and the effort I'm putting when making this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's talk about other things. So this bezel surround the display, especially the chain, and that brings screen to body ratio 87.5%. And I also appreciate the fact that we get a 120Hz refresh rate. For those smoother animation, smoother scroll, and gameplays. Not even that, you can also switch in between 60 or 90 Hz if you wish to do so. As far as software, you get the Android 13 with the MIUI 14. On the Redmi Note 13, you get a 5000 mAh battery on this Redmi Note 13. And with this processor here that has good power management, this might last you a whole day. For heavy use, you gaming for 7 to 8 hours on stop. So coming to my conclusion, playing game with this device is not an issue at all. I played PUBG at balanced graphics and medium frame rate. Call of Duty I could play at higher graphic quality and medium frame rate with this smartphone. Another aspect where the Redmi Note 13 impressed me is the 33 watt fast charger that comes inside the bus which can allow you to charge up your device from 0 to 100% without wasting much of your time. With the charger it takes about an hour and 30 minutes to fully charge up this device. As for the camera, it comes with a 108 megapixel main camera setup. These are some of the pictures taken with the Redmi Note 13. So take a look at it. Tell me how the pictures look like. Well, when looking at it, I might say that those pictures look saturated because of what? It's because of the 108 megapixel main camera captures good details when looking at it. This phone also comes with a punch hole camera, which is the 16 megapixel selfie camera. That is a massive. These are some things you have to bear in mind if you are going for this device. The IP54 dust and water resistance, the AMOLED display, and lastly, under the display fingerprint. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on next. So I'm peace out.